And my second question is uh, regarding uh, when we were talking about the high speed uh, rail connections and bringing dependency from air travels to high speed connections how much and what kind of uh, proposals are given for uh, cross-border connections? Because right now what I see as a commuter, I think time and cost are very important factors for commuters. And that's the reason why most of the people are dependent on cars. And uh, what kind of efforts are made to bring those things into reality to bring this high-speed rail system and particularly when we talk about these four country borders. So there are different rail systems that are working. And I don't see really like they're in coordination with each other. Yeah, maybe I can say something to this because it's a very interesting question. And I commute a lot on this corridor. So I, I, I know uh, the struggles and the difficulties. But for instance, in Switzerland, it works very well because they have a sort of, they call it a tact, like a um, quarter hour tact or half an hour tact so it's all coordinated and then harmonized within the country and of course it's a small country and it's a very developed country but you really don't wait more than five minutes of transitions and then you can cross the entire country within three hours and of course when you go to Basel for instance when you cross border there's always such a delay towards the German network this is not harmonized well of course Germany is a bigger country and they're looking into the so-called Deutschland tact which is again being postponed to its completion in 2030 or 2040, 2050. But I think this is exactly what it needs. I mean, it's a coming too late and a lot of infrastructure projects are coming too late on the railway infrastructure, on the high-speed network. But we have to look and co cooperate and collaborate much more with the other systems and the other next networks and harmonize them. So I think this is what I feel Germany is looking at much more now than ever before. They're really copying the Swiss system as much as they can, because they see its success, you know. But, but to add to that, we have looked at to do into that in the Stice report. Um, one measure was to improve the cross-border travel over there. And of course, that has a major impact on the region itself. But for the Euro, complete Euro Delta, it is a minor, uh, minor input. And it is not easy to be done, as you said, Cecilia. Uh, so I've got some 30 years, 40 years experience with the cross-border travel between uh, the Netherlands and Belgium and, uh, and Germany, for instance, in, uh, in the Limburg area. And there you need to have uh, yeah, to harmonize the Deutsche Bahn with the MBS and with the Dutch railway system. Mm -hmm. And it is not it is not easy to do that. But of course, we need everything. We need to do that. But it is uh, uh, a hard way to do. And it is uh, has a major impact on the region itself, but not on the overall picture. 